Hello everybody, welcome to the channel. And uh, today is day six, or well, the end of day six because they've been doing work behind me all day here, installing these panels, getting that roof ready. It's looking pretty good. We're gonna go through what happened today and uh, you know, hopefully this will give you an idea on what is actually going on. This is actually the start of a new week, so um, pretty cool. We'll see what kind of progress, progress they make the rest of the week, but hopefully I can put a video out every day along all the steps of the way and try to answer your questions uh, while this is happening. So if you have any questions on a Tesla uh, solar roof, let me know and I'll do my best to answer them as the customer uh, that's buying these panels. All right, so you're probably wondering, you know, what actually happened on this first day? Yes, we see some panels here. Uh, this is a mix of glass and solar uh, panels. Um, first off, uh, they start with just basically outlining uh, the entire roof in uh, this, I believe they call it C-bracket. It, it helps them line up the whole roof and it runs down the whole entire roof uh, top to bottom. Uh, it does not go across the top. There will be a ridge vent up there uh, for that that will tie everything else in. And basically it's laying down the basis for the roof um, ooh, if we zoom into this open section here, hopefully you can see it. Yes, you see there's actually little cutouts in it. So the rain and such, um, if it gets under there, will just run out the bottom. Oh, very interesting. Uh, I, I'm, I'm sure it's there for a reason. It's probably there for the weather and the rain and any little things that could get under your roof. Uh, other than that, another interesting thing they, they added right away was this, this. And this third rack here. And those are racks to hold your panels. So somebody walks up on a ladder with some panels, hands them off, and the next person, boom, puts them in the racks. So there's a fair amount of tiles in those racks currently. Uh, most of them were previously in the racks that are now on the roof. And if we turn around, uh, there, is, there is still a large collection of panels to go up. Still lots of solar panels, solar tiles here, and lots of glass tiles to go up. We have quite the collection still, but uh, there's definitely progress being made. Um, another thing they also did today, and we'll see if we can see it walking around the side here or not. Um, now they might have they might have already put a lot of the, the siding back. Basically all the edges around your house, wherever your siding is, they end up trimming those back and then they end up putting uh, sheet metal in there to uh, you know, kind of bridge that gap and to make it sit nice and flush. One, it's gonna make it more waterproof, but two, it's gonna make it look better. You know, you're paying all this money for a roof, it better look nice. Uh, you can see the, uh, the black uh, they got running here and then there's some up top, kind of hard to see, but um, they're, they're going through the process of doing all of this. Uh, some of it is, you know, or a lot of it is very custom just because they have to fit the shape of your house. Oh, here's a better look at those C brackets, by the way, if anybody's really interested in them. Pretty cool. And it goes all the way up, all the way up to the peak there. And then back down, near them. This is the very back roof, so they'll probably take their time actually getting to that. Now, one thing you're probably wondering is how in the world do they get the first row of tiles in line? Well, it's pretty cool. I'm going to show you in this clip. They actually have a jig. Uh, it seems to just like a, like a heavy-duty plastic jig. They got a couple of them. They lined them out, lined them up, and they just put uh, the black brackets in there and then just staple them down or, uh, well, I guess nail them down with a nail gun. And that starts off the first row and from there, the tiles basically preset themselves up as you lay them out because each tile has two brackets on it itself. So after that, it, the whole side is set and basically they take this pattern that they uh, that they put the tiles in and they put that on all the starting edges or at least all the ones they need. So this big edge here got one. I believe the other side of the roof will get one. Uh, that little roof will get one, I think. 
And um, I'm interested to see what they do with this roof because it's, it's an odd one for sure. I, I don't know what they're going to do with that. I'm sure they're going to do it the same way where they're going to put down that, uh, that plastic uh, template and then place uh, the brackets in there and then nail them down with the nail gun. But uh, we'll see. You know, I'll keep you guys posted on that. Um, another point I want to cover is right up here. Uh, this is like the home line. This is the main line, and that is going to run into the inverter. It looks like we have two of them, and basically, um, they drill two holes in the roof. Yes, more <laughs> more holes in the roof. And um, what they did was is they shoved those lines down it, so they're sitting in there for now. Uh, the little caps that are on those lines, they actually have caps on them, and they have seal seals on those. Those seals shut. So it, that's all waterproof. Uh, they also get screwed down with regular screws as well. Um, again, probably can't show you the, the best little, little short for this job. But um, pretty, pretty unique, uh, pretty cool though. And then of course they just run all the excess lines out the top. You see that big pile of lines? And then they just attach all of them per row uh, to your panels. So quite the, quite the process in itself. And uh, during this whole time, uh, these guys are all on uh, <laughs> ropes that are tethered to uh, the roof of my house. You can see that big, thick black rope there. Uh, there's like a whole bunch of them. And it mounts right to the top of my house, right there. And then they just have a whole line set up so that they can safely uh, you know, do all this. Pretty, pretty impressive. Other than that, they came with a full array of uh, metal bending tools. Uh, and they also did a really good job of keeping everything uh, neat and tidy. I know it looks kind of messy, but really everything's like all put together. Uh, it's it's pretty uh, pretty professional, which well it should be for the cost of the roof, but and and what you you know, you would expect from Tesla. But uh, no, they really did a good job of keeping everything organized um, and just keeping everything clean out here. You know, there's not random screws and bolts and just pieces of of you know Tesla parts hanging around it's all in one nice condensed space um, we got a whole bunch of uh, cables here if anybody's interested in any of these pretty sweet you can see the male and female connectors and all these are gonna help uh, you know string together and attach uh, the solar panels that are on these tiles all right so that pretty much wraps up this video let me know in the comments section uh, you know, what else you want to see, I'll try my best to, you know, film it or find out more information on it if you're interested in getting one of these roofs. Um, other than that, hope you enjoyed watching. Please like and subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next video.